Wagwan fam, I'm King Ross. I've had a shitload of Mountain Dew this evening, therefore I'm off my tits. It's 3.35 a.m. here in Orlando, Florida, so we're going to do WWE Raw moments after we did WWE WrestleMania 33. Here we f***ing go! <laughs> and we start with a sign, a sign that said Roman is worse than polio. F*** these signs and f*** the morons that are holding them. These signs are putrid and the sad marks hold them need to get a f***ing life. Roman is not that bad as the following point will show. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you never leave me. The touch of your hand says you'll catch me wherever I fall. Do 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 do. You say it best, say it best when you say nothing at all. Roman Reigns can cut a f***ing promo because that five word spunky did on this week's WWE Raw was f***ing pitch perfect. We're all the wanky. He had all of you nerds in the palm of his bastard hand, and he played you all like puppets. I know I'm whispering, but it's 3:35 a.m. here, and here at Vista Clay, people are asleep. Thank you, Vista K. Is it Clay or K? Who gives a sh**? Thanks for not being a sh**, this travel lodge. We all know Roman's been good at the grabs for a while now, but now it seems he can cut a promo when he's told to do the right promo. This means one thing, mother He's got the... He's got the whole package! Hey, for the f***ing border and f***! End this night! End this night! Run away! End this night! Bye! Corey, 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 Corey! Glory, I thought you were f***ing better than that, selling out like this. We boo the people we normally cheer, and we cheer the people we normally boo. JBL tried this sh** on last year after WrestleMania when Roman Reigns was booed after winning the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and that sh** didn't work then. Who the f*** thought it would work 12 months down the line? They must be off their bastard rocker. Bollocks. Chance of f that owl heard all over the world, of course, the chance were in relation to the TNA owl and the tweets that Rebby Hardy has been doing on the reg in recent times. But the fact that Kevin Dunn, my good personal friend who doesn't take anything I say seriously because it's all a joke and good fun, <laughs> he had the chance to mute these chants saying f that owl, but he chose not to. This means one thing Kevin Dunn likes bestiality, bestiality for the win. Marx, I can tell you what we can do. You can get that f***ing beach ball and shove it straight up your cat f***ing alley. What the f*** was going on with that shit? WWE referencing this on commentary and then having Chris Jericho coin the phrase beach ball mania is a huge mistake because this vindicates the marks that took those beach balls to the arena. In their heads now, this is a thing they've created. This is a thing that's going to be around forever and the people in the ring killing themselves for our entertainment are going to get f***ed right off because people are more interested in the beach ball than they are in their graps. There's no justice in the world. Where's Le Mans? Where the f*** is my Mountain Dew, you But kudos to the Mark in the arena who brought a sign that read, sorry for the dumb chance that Mark hit the nail on the head, just like this sexual wank pheasant would have hit the head of all the nonces who were batting that beach ball around all over that arena. Just watch the graps. Chant about the graps. Don't distract from the graps. Awful human beings. Even if it is a gimmick, Teddy Long turning up to the wrong scenario, being told that he's in the wrong scenario, and then saying, my bad is a short case of gimmick infringement on wrong truth killings. Our truth. First of all, Vince McMahon on WWE Raw, WTF. Second of all, no Stephanie McMahon, nowhere to be seen. You'd expect with those giant fucking lady balls, you would expect with those giant lady balls that just got swinging metaphorically between her legs that she'd be back from that horrendous table bump, I don't know, 20 minutes after the match end. Those lady balls would have huge healing powers. She'd be up doing squats and all sorts just as they got through the back after walking up that massive bastard ramp at WrestleMania. But no, she's nowhere to be seen and she's going to be out for a long time. So not only did she get her comeuppance, but she's also looking weak and f***ing 
ninja hooray ho, ho. to put it in some sort of perspective jeff hardy took a flippy bump off the top of a 20 foot ladder rolled back in the ring won the tag team championships then wrestled on raw less than 24 hours later stephanie you weak little bitch still got and then third of all, Kurt Bloody Angle's a new GM of Raw, WTF, meaning that both general managers for Raw and SmackDown are people we'd rather see wrestling in the ring than performing metaphorically on the outside of it. Brian and Kurt do the graps, not do the talks. But Kurt though, sweaty man, isn't he? <laughs> Imagine next year, right? Imagine. Between you and me, WrestleMania 34, New Orleans. Kurt Angle one corner, Daniel Bryan the other. The f**k's the old Raw logo doing appearing in the middle of the New Day's entrance? It says, it's a new day, yes it is. The fades to black, the old Raw logo appears just before it does so. New day, old day. F**k off. F joke. I'm off. See ya. Yeah. Maggle Cole claims that Dash Wilder has often been referred to as a mechanic. Well, f me, sideways war journalist. That's an abbreviated commas, you fing war journalist. Do some bastard research. When Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson were together in XD, back in their early days together, they were called the mechanics before being renamed the revival. But if you did some research, you'd know that for yourself, wouldn't you, you fing dog nonce? WWE can't be trying to pass off those houses as Kurt Angle's actual Olympic gold medals. First of all, they look bronze to me. Second of all, your Olympic gold medal doesn't say first on it. You win a little kiddies football tournament at the age of five, it says first on it. Olympic golds, a bit different to that. But hey, I look at those medals there. I remember my fifth birthday, I got a birthday card with a racing car on with a first place medal. Kurt Angle somehow got his hands on that, now it's appearing on WWE Raw. 19 years later, Yes, I'm 24, not 39, you set a cut. I tell you what, mind, between me and you, that evil looking Emma lass looks a hell of a lot like Emma Lena. Although it can't be her, because she didn't take 19 piercing weeks to turn up and then frolic back the other way when she realised her name was f***ing stupid. Welcome back though, c***y chops. Just to clarify, I've called her c***y chops just because she's a heel and meant to be evil. And evil chops doesn't sound half as good as c***y chops. Chops. Next we have another c***y chops in the form of Nia Jax who forgot that she was supposed to be playing a c***y chops and pulled this silly face while looking at the camera while making her entrance. Somebody thought the camera had switched to another angle didn't they hun? Hun? She could beat the f*** out of us. <laughs> but still, she thought the camera was on somebody else and she was all like ooh, way to ruin your hard bitchness. Your hard bitchness. She's a hard bitch. Oh. Hard con chopness. She's a well done chop. She's a chop that's been left on a plate after being cooked well done for several hours. Therefore, a hard chop. Tougher than a two dollar cutty chop. That's Nia Jax, but not in that picture. She's showing that she's got some bands. A cutty band chop. It's fing late, isn't it? Whoa. Next we have Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, who said, imagine if we saw Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. Already half pal, Battleground 2015. We saw it then, so we don't need to imagine. Then he said, imagine Brock Lesnar versus Matt Hardy. And since the Matt Hardy that's returned to WWE isn't the broken Matt Hardy character, we can see we don't have to imagine Brock versus Matt either because this is the old Matt Hardy, Matt Hardy Team Extreme Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy and Brock Lesnar back in today took place in 10 matches and a Royal Rumble match together. We've already seen them do the grabs. And then he said imagine both Matt and Jeff in a two on one handicap match against Brock Lesnar. Don't have to because we saw that back in the day on Raw in 2K2 weeks before Judgment Day when the Hardys took on Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar in a match where Brock let Paul get the pinfall over the Hardys winning the match for Paul and Brock. Hell. Vince McMahon likes big sweaty men. 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 
Vince McMahon likes So for bad time fans, Braun Strowman claimed that he was looking for a challenge in WWE. That is French for looking for a challenge in WWE. So it's not a f***ing speech impediment, you horrible marks. F*** off. First of all, he had a chance to do the grabs with The Undertaker. He walked away. Last night on WWE Raw, he had the chance to do the grabs with Brock Lesnar, and he walked away again. I'm seeing a little trend here. This means one thing, what a f Braun, I'm f***ing looking at you, pal. You're a big old chicken sh**. The big old wonky nosed chicken sh**. A man who, since she's not using them at the time, could use Stephanie McMahon's lady f King balls to make you strong again. Oh, balls. Back with Maggle Cole once again, and this time he fucked up Kurt Angle's three eyes. According to Maggle, the three eyes are intelligent, integrity, and intensity. That's not right. It's intelligence, not intelligent. So called former war journalist who apparently can write. That's not right, is it? How do you spell right, Maggle? In that sort of way. I bet you spell it W R I T E, not R I G H T. I'm hungry like the wolf. But it's funny that Michael would fuck up the intelligent bit, the intelligence bit, the intelligent part of that in three eyes, because he's not thick as shit. Finn Balor returned on the WWE Raw after WWE WrestleMania 33, as he would say. Kiss me lucky charms. To help the guy that put him on the shelf for nine long months cost him his first WrestleMania appearance. Yet Finn returned and had no issues with Seth Rollins. Always forgotten. I tell you what, if that was me and Sethy Poo put me on the shelf for nine months, cost me my first WrestleMania appearance, I'd f him up. Isn't it weird how that little vindictive bitch called Seth Rollins missed out on his WrestleMania last year to put Balor out of this one? You're just realising this now, Finn, are you? You spineless coward. Aye. All baby faces are spineless idiots. It's Irish for idiots. You all need some f***ing lady balls. Shit house marks in that arena tonight were singing that shit house song by Pitbull. Give me the green light. F*** me sideways and call me Betty. What the f*** do you think you're doing? You're vindicating Vince McMahon's decision to bring in Pitbull and the floor rider, whatever the fuck he likes to call himself, for WrestleMania Territory Tree. He thinks he's down with the kids when he's not. Even though I know it was in support of Joe, that was quite clever. I'm ready to Joe, 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 ha ha ha, but it was the tune of a sh house song, which means that Vince McMahon is going to book Pitbull and Flowrider at every WrestleMania for the rest of fing time. And you sh heads in the what? what's it called? The Amarillo Marina. The Amarillo Marina. All of you people in the Amarillo Marina, you fall to fing blame, and what the hell's happened down there? Hello there! Go f yourself. <laughs> a Mexican wave during the main event of the Raw after WrestleMania. Orlando, are you for f***ing real, bros? I mean, I could understand you're in a pit bull bit or a sh match. Match you don't give a f about. But the main event of the Raw after WrestleMania with a returning big name like your boy Finn Balor, people like Rollins and Owens and Joe in the same match. You know, you're doing a Mexican wave. You all castrated for that. So you can't reproduce those smarky little f**ks that would go to the Raw after Wrestlemania, sing a tune to the sound of that Pitbull shit house tune, and then do a Mexican wave during the main event of the Raw after Wrestle Bloody Mania. You want to be ashamed. And with that, that is the end of these WTF moments for the Raw after Wrestlemania 33. I've been King Ross. Kiss me lucky charms. I'll see you tomorrow for some smack the leader. John. Hi again, wrestling fans, Matt Stryker here, and I'm excited to finally announce the brackets for the Pro Wrestling World Cup 2017 from the Mexican qualifiers. Penta El Zero M versus Phoenix. El Ligero versus Drago. Rey Mysterio versus Alberto El Patron. Juventud Guerrera versus El Hijo de Dos Caras. Tickets to see the explosive action live April the 30th at the Coventry Sky Dome in England are available exclusively at ProWrestlingWorldCup.com.